So this is all the files laid out in Bamboo Studio. Now, as you can see, I've grouped all my plates all by color. But one thing that I didn't do is group them by print settings. Let's take this plate here, for example, so I can explain what I mean. If I zoom in and rotate around, you can see we have some large models laying flat on the build plate and some that are standing quite tall. This model here isn't very rigid at all. I would be willing to bet it would fail without proper bed adhesion. So instead of adding another plate and moving it, I can simply dive into each model's individual settings and properly set them up. If we switch from the global tab here in the process menu to the objects tab, you're going to see the settings down below change. The first thing that I would like to do is set some brim ears to our flat model. This should be sufficient enough for them. The first thing that I need to do is click on that model. Now, since that we're in the objects mode, any changes that I make down here in the settings will only adjust for that specific model. I'll go ahead and go into the others tab first, change our brim type from auto to painted. Now let's go ahead and click on the brim ears button here in the top menu. You're going to see all the rest of the models disappear. I like to use a head diameter of 10 or more. Make your adjustment, hit the auto generate points button and you will now see brim ears show up. Great, hit escape to go back. Let's go ahead and verify that the other models don't have the same brim ears applied. Click on one of the models and you'll see that the brim type is set to auto and not painted like our last model. Now let's go ahead and add a brim to all three of the taller models to give us a better chance of a successful print. Holding down on the control button on the keyboard, click all three sets of the models to make sure that they're all highlighted. Next down in the others tab, change the brim settings to outer brim only and set that width to eight. I personally would rather lay down a few extra grams of brim filament to save myself a headache of a failed print at 90%. Great, now that we have one set of models printing with a brim and the others with just some brim ears, let's go ahead and hit preview to slice the plate and take a look. And as you can see, all of our tall models have a brim and the flat model doesn't. Now this method also applies to your model's wall amounts, infill density, supports, and a ton of other options. Let's go ahead and go back to the prepare tab and make one more adjustment so that you can see this in action. Since this middle model looks like it could be under a little bit more stress than our flat panels, let's go ahead and bump up the infill density to this model to give it some more strength. Highlight just the middle model by itself. And then down in the settings menu, make sure you click on the frequent tab and change the infill density. You can even bump up the wall loops to let's say three. Now we have a model that's going to be a little bit more rigid than the rest of them. For more Bamboo Studio tips, click on the related video link or check out my channel.